Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, we'll be continuing with our testing series, the testing fundamentals playlist that we have started and we'll be answering the very one of the important interview question, which has been frequently asked in an interview, explain about your project. When you are asked, explain about your project, you don't have to tell anything about, uh, you know, how many test cases you are writing or how many test cases you are exp uh, executing. So those are your roles and responsibilities. There is a difference between explanation about your project and your roles and responsibilities. What are you doing there? So I have created a digital product on this particular project related question in which you will get the answer. It's a one page document. You can answer as per your project details in which you are working but it's just a template that i have prepared and you don't have to pay anything for this product it's available absolutely free of cost it's a humble request just to put testimonial on the top mate for rd automation learning right and you can access it for absolutely free of cost. you don't have to pay anything we won't charge anything to you now coming to the answer of this question if you are being asked explain about your project now i know many of you are trying to get a job with a real time experience many of you are also trying to get a job with a kind of a experience right so many a times you know what happens is uh, when you will be interviewing the fake candidates candidates with a fake experience they'll be telling about the team size of the project so you have to explain everything about your project so that is project name duration team size so you know if you are interviewing anyone with a fake experience or if candidate is uh, coming with a fake experience they'll be telling i'm working in a team size with 10 qa 10 developers that is never ever possible whenever you are working in a project there is a defined ratio of dev is to qa of developers is to qa okay so we'll see that ratio also so first is you can start by giving your project name and what is the duration of that project since how long you have been working in that project you have to clarify were you a part of that project since the beginning or are you someone who has just started working in that project and project was working since long okay then what is the team size so team size includes the count of your developers in your team then qa members manual as well as automation then uh, if you have ba project managers product owners uh, then the product managers scrum master so this all will include in your team so that's how the team size would be defined very important these two things you have to mention about the domain and you have to mention about the client why it is important to mention about domain because let's say the company who is interviewing you they are uh, seeking someone who is having experience in e-commerce domain and you have got that e-commerce domain so that's an advantage for you okay let's say if they are looking for someone in a healthcare domain and you might not be having uh, experience in the healthcare domain in the current project but earlier you would have worked in that kind of uh, project with healthcare domain so that will be an advantage so domain is very important client is also very important and your role so are you a manual tester or you are a automation tester and which are the different tools and technologies that you are using in your project so you might be using jira you might be using zephyr for writing test cases for designing test cases you might be using test rail right uh, in uh, uh, earlier days people used to have this uh, ALM tools people used to have bugzilla for uh, defect management but now everything is in jira so if you are going if you are trying after getting a uh, after a long career gap again to get a job if you are giving interviews after a long breaks then these are the things that you have to take care you can give a very high level summary of your project description so what is this project about what does it contain what is this project uh, details so that you can tell but in a very summarized manner right for example here we have taken an example of an e-commerce domain so the application includes various modules various modules such as user registration product catalog shopping cart payment gateway order tracking what are the objectives of this project why what are you your expectations what are the expectations from the client side for this project which are the different testing types that you are performing which are the different uh, uh, testing that you are getting involved into so those things you can tell okay so you have to talk about your project you have to speak on the project you have to tell how are the things with your project 
here i have taken an example of e-commerce project you can take any example okay that is totally fine now coming to that uh, team size thing so in that team size you might get cross question how many developers and how many qas are working with you so here is the dev is to qa ratio with respect to different aspects see if you are working in a small agile team so agile is very common these days right so if you are working in a small agile team you can have 10 developers you can have three qa engineers ratio is one qa for every three is to four developers there are teams when the applications complexity is too high then one qa would be working for one or two developers so you have one is to two ratio there but if it's in small agile team the application is stable enough or even if it is something that is less complexity then one qa for every three to four developers if it's a big enterprise project so when i say enterprise level so it's a big project that has got many members you would be uh, working in such kind of projects as well you would get an opportunity to work in this kind of projects generally these projects would have 50 developers 30 qa engineers and again there might be a possibility that someone would be working from the offshore team someone would be working from the onshore team so that's also one of the possibility okay then in startup environment you have 20 developers you have two qa engineers so in the startup uh, environment the uh, testing needs to be done at a very fast pace and uh, there are there are very um, limited kind of uh, timeline that you get so eta is uh, very important there and uh, you have to have a proper knowledge if you have to go if you are going in a startup environment definitely you would be working under pressure but the amount of knowledge the amount of uh, skill set with which will grow after you are working in a startup environment is uncountable right you it cannot be measured it cannot be counted in some kind of uh, measurement it's it's very good so if, if you are a fresher or if you are having some kind of career gap then I would suggest you to go to startup or go to small scale companies because there they won't see whether you are having some gap or you are have taken some break. In MNC company, they'll do thousands kind of background verification, a lot of background verification they'll do. They'll see that whether all the salary slips are proper or not. But in case of startup or small scale companies, this won't be an issue. But yes, you have to work day in and day out there, right? So that's the JFS to QA ratio. Now, one more question which you can get is how many test cases do you write every day? Okay. So if any one of you are going with a fake experience, you might tell I'm writing 100 test cases per day. Right. And you will be told to leave for the day. They'll tell you, we'll update you later on, but nothing would be, would be coming. So here you have to give a very diplomatic answer. It depends on the complexity of the application. Sometimes the complexity of the application is high so that uh, you have to, uh, you you are not able to write uh, more test cases in your day. You are able to write, but maybe some test cases, maybe five to 10. Sometimes the complexity of the application is average, intermediate. Yes. So you can write 20 to 30 test cases. If it's very easy, still you would be able to write 30 to 40, not more than 60, 70, because test cases are something that are not one liner statements in test cases you need to write uh test case steps test case id test case description prerequisite test case uh, uh, actual result expected result test data right Re remarks you have so a lot of things are to be written in test cases so don't uh, take it too lightly okay so these are few of the questions that we thought to discuss with you and please like this video so that it reaches to the maximum people also don't forget to give a positive rating on the testimonial or and, and and a testimonial on the top mate so that uh, these particular documents are reaching out to the maximum people right that's it for this video thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates